guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. So today I have a Trader Joe's haul for you guys and I laid everything out and I have nothing in any particular order at all and I thought I would share it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Real quick, I do wanna run by you guys, especially because this is a grocery haul and that was like my total mindset behind it. I am gonna be launching very, very soon some reusable shopping tote bags. I'm gonna put it right here for you guys so you can see what it's gonna look like. So what I have going on right now is not a true pre-order, but kind of. I have a section on there that I just added to have you guys be part of a pre-order so I know how many to order. Now, I'm kind of going by the honor system here um, of not taking any money down or anything, but I would like to know if it is something you are interested in purchasing, please put your name and email address. You'll see it on my site, and I will email you guys directly when they are available. I just want to get a good count of how many I should order first and I don't want to have too many or not enough so anyway I'm gonna have that link below but I think they're really really cute and I'm really excited about it this is something I've wanted to do for months and I'm finally getting it together so I hope you guys like them too I thought they were cool because they kind of go for us vegans as well but also even just if you're not fully vegan but you eat plants too you can still show them off too so I hope you guys are excited about that too. Um, on there as well, I will have more specifics on the actual size of them, uh, the price of them, and all that as well. But I just wanted to throw that out there since this is like the first haul where I can actually like speak about them and I'm really excited. So again, please, please go put your name on that pre- order list and I will email you guys directly when they are available. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and I will see you guys very, very soon. planning to make a big big pot of chili and so I got a lot of ingredients to make that this week we are supposed to here in California it has been a very very dry winter so far <laughs> and we're hoping that this week is supposedly going to bring us lots of rain and I thought chili just sounded really good for that kind of week so that's what I was planning to do and that's where I got a lot of this stuff for that in mind. So I thought I'd throw that out there for you guys. I have to show you these. How cute are these? I did not need them at all, but they're adorable. <laughs> and so at first when I saw them too, I thought that they were maybe even like fake ones just for looks, but no, it is real and it is bamboo and you do have to refill this water when it runs out or you know when it needs fresh water. But how cute are these? They have them in black too. That's all I saw though was white and black. And these are $5.99 a piece. I'll put the price with everything, of course, but I just had to get them. I want to put them on my windowsill, and I just thought they were really unique looking. So there's my purchase. I didn't need, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Got a couple things of bananas. Actually, in the middle here is kind of just what we have left. Not a whole lot. So definitely needed to restock up on some fruits and whatnot. Got two bags of lemons as well. Now these I have been putting into a big pitcher of water every day, basically one lemon a day. That has been one of my like kind of new year resolutions of I want to be able to say that I drank a whole big gallon <laughs> of water a day. And so far I've done really, really well with this. And I'm actually like, it's funny how if you're not the biggest water drinker, if you just make yourself do it and put lemon in it, put whatever you want. And... You'll find though that your body truly starts craving it. And it's funny how like the end of the day, you'd think I'd be so waterlogged <laughs> and not thirsty at all, but I continuously am thirsty when I drink it. And it's kind of a good thing. Anyway, that is one of my little resolutions. Let me know in the comments some of your smaller resolutions this year. But that's why I got two bags of lemons was for that in mind. I also did get one English cucumber. You'll notice if you follow my hauls, I don't buy cucumbers that often. Now our pig loves them, but, but us personally, I'm not really a fan of them and Nate can kind of take it or leave it. So we just never really 
get them. But I know that putting cucumber in water with lemon as well is like a really good detox type thing. So I thought I would try that out. <laughs> I did pick up these little slices of cantaloupe. Cantaloupe's not really in season right now, um, at least where we are. They didn't have them just where you can buy them on your own or they didn't look very good. And this did though. So I'm hopeful that this little pack here is good. It just sounded really good. So I got that. I did get a thing of Honeycrisp apples they finally had them in a bag honey crisp apples are so hard for us to come by but they are my personal favorite so I got a two pound bag of those I also got some tiny tiny avocados these are the best they're so good you get six of them they're a really good price and I think personally they are like the perfect size to have a whole one but they're not that big so you don't feel as guilty with it I mean it's an avocado we should never feel guilty about that but you know what I mean because sometimes they do pack the fats <laughs> that sometimes we do want to be a little careful with that maybe but these are just perfect I love them I also picked up a bag of celery I'm also not a huge celery person myself but I'm gonna put that in the chili I did get one thing of non bread. This is what Nate's like favorite thing is to take to work. Again, if you're not new here, you have seen this many, many times. So I got another package of that. We still have a few in our pantry, so I didn't get two bags this time like we normally do. I did get a thing of zucchini. I have a few more as well that I think I'll finish off into the chili. And you got like a ton of them this time in the pack but they are a lot smaller, so which is totally fine, but I just noticed you got like a lot more. Usually these only come with like three or four. I did get a loaf of bread this time. This is their daily bread, the sprouted whole grain. You can see right there too, vegan symbol on it. I actually think this bread is great. Our favorite probably is the Dave's Killer Bread, but Trader Joe's just doesn't carry that. Not a big deal though. Um, so if, I mean, if I'm at a store that has that, I would probably pick that over it, but I really do like this one a lot. And they have like different flavors of this daily bread there. And I'm pretty sure all of those are vegan friendly. Double check, of course, but I'm pretty sure. I also picked up a thing of vegan mozzarella style shreds. I've mentioned before, this is not like our favorite uh, dairy-free cheese alternative, but it's not bad. It's really not. We just find a little goes a long way with it. I did also buy some pizza crust and I thought me and the little man could make that this week. We are starting homeschool this coming week, so want some things that we can do together in the kitchen. And if you follow my vlogs, uh, you know he's really getting into cooking. So I thought he would have fun doing that. So got that for that in mind. I needed some more beefless ground beef. The last one we got was, I wanna say the Gardein brand. Very, very good, love it, but we did finish it off. And this is probably though my favorite. The Trader Joe's beefless ground beef I think is delicious so good I could be wrong I may have had these before long long time ago so I'm not a hundred percent sure I can't remember but they just looked good and they happen to be vegan friendly as well a lot of these like uh, frozen foods are you know they're vegetarian because they but they still have cheese so they're not fully vegan um, but this one did not and so it's a black bean and corn enchilada I think you get two of them in there and made with organic white corn tortillas, corn and black beans. Looks yummy, I don't know, try it out. <laughs> I got a thing of hummus dip too, and again, to kind of go with the non bread for Nate, he loves taking this to work, so got another one of those. I did pick up a pack of uh, onions, some red onions, and again, for the chili and just other dishes throughout the week. Got their pizza sauce, which I absolutely love. This is really good too, even as like a quick marinara sauce. Like if you need just like a single serving of like pasta, put a little of this on there. It's really good. <laughs> so got that though for the pizza in mind. I did pick up some pistachios. I have not purchased pistachios in a very long time, but I just thought they sounded good. A nice little snack. I love pistachios. Anyone else? They're so yummy, but I feel like they kind of go forgotten. We don't always purchase them, but I got the dry roasted and salted ones this time, but they do have a lot of different options, whether they're raw, uh, not salted, you know, they, ha they have a lot, which is great. I did get a thing of green onions. That's pretty much a staple I pick up every time. And also the tricolor bell peppers. I picked those up last time. Um, we really have been enjoying those for various things. And I'm going to put that in the chili as well. 
To go with the chili, I thought, of course, one night we could have it with some chips. Can't go wrong with chips. So got these organic white corn tortilla chips. My kid loves these as well. But here's where I thought would be really creative too. When I was looking at like the pizza stuff, I saw that they had this, you get two of them, eight inch cornmeal crusts. And I thought that this would be a kind of an interesting way of basically having cornbread and chili. So if I make the chili in advance, I could take some of it when we decide to have it with this and put it in here like a pizza and then kind of just cook it off to reheat it through and make sure that these are cooked through. How good is that? It would be like a chili pizza. <laughs> So I thought this would be interesting to try. Let me know if you've ever tried these. I've never tried those before. I did get one thing of almond milk. This is pretty much something we always pick up and I love the vanilla unsweetened. We needed some more cashews, so I got some more whole cashews, just raw ones. And I also got some more raspberries for myself. I mean, not that we can't all eat them, of course, but I like to have these with oatmeal. So good. <laughs> I also got some pecan halves. These are raw as well. Nate loves to take like a handful of these to work with him too, and we are completely out. So got those. One of my best friends actually went vegetarian this last year, and he had sent me a picture of this a couple weeks ago, and I had been looking for it, and ours did not carry it, and he said it was really, really good. And so I did find it this time, and I'm gonna try it out. It's a rice cauliflower stir fry and it does look really good. So I've never tried it though, but thought I'd give this a try. It's in their frozen foods. This happened to be over by like the frozen fruits for us, kind of random, but gonna try that out. To go with that meatless like ground beef, I thought we could do tacos one night. I have not done that in a very long time, and I thought that would be really good. So just got these taco shells. On my last haul, I mentioned to you guys, I did pick up a little thing of coconut oil, and I said that we like to make our own popcorn on the stove with a little bit of coconut oil, and then you take your popcorn kernels. Well, we've been doing that a lot this last week, and I'm almost out. And so I did pick up another thing of just fresh popcorn. I got a bag of organic super sweet corn and I'm gonna put that in the chili as well. Pretty much pick one of these up every week, <laughs> pretty much. And this has been like a favorite of mine. Sometimes vegetable broths and stocks cannot always have like a ton of flavor I have found. And for whatever reason, this one here, this stock is really, really good. It's actually a difference. And I've really been enjoying this since we've tried this the first time about a month ago pretty much pick it up week to week now so got that got a thing of carrots again to put some into the chili and just to have for throughout the week for snacks and then here is that garlic and herb pizza dough again if you've never tried their pizza like the fresh dough highly recommend it we love this it is vegan friendly and again i thought that's something my kiddo and i could do this week i got one thing of black beans and to put in the, the chili as well i got this little can of green chilies to put in there too it's just a little four ounce can spice it up and i got two cans of this diced and fire roasted uh, tomatoes and i'm gonna put those in the chili as well and then last but not least, I actually just picked up three bags of baby spinach. Typically, I would do like romaine lettuce too, but I don't know if I'm just like crazy, but I keep seeing articles go around right now, but they're being very vague of like where it's coming from, like they don't know yet apparently. Correct me if I'm wrong, but basically there is like an outbreak of like E. coli contamination on romaine lettuce. That's all it really says. <laughs> <laughs> and they are saying to like kind of stay away from romaine right now until they like pinpoint where it's actually coming from. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But with that in mind, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get some baby spinach this time and that'll work. So that's what I did this time. But yeah, that is everything I got. I'll put the total here. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to making that chili. I just think it sounds good with the type of week we're supposed to have. And it would make various dishes for us, which is great just to have ready to go. But yeah, I thought I'd share this with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, I will have linked below the shopping bags where you can get onto that email list and I will let you know when they are available. Hope you guys have a great, great day and I will see you guys very, very soon. Mm -hmm.